Hello all, my name is Deep Ranjan. A very good morning to all of you. So in this video, uh, we are going to deploy our DL model, deep learning model on a Flask API. So in my previous video, I have already trained my model and saved my model also. So this uh, project is a continuation of the traffic sign re recognition project Okay, that I have already uh, explain in very detail i have trained the model also there so i have just uh, like a uh, saved my model that is traffic dot h55 it's a keras based model okay so for that uh, first of all we'll try to do some setup there okay so for setup i have provided here requirement dot txt file uh, so these many uh, like uh, files will be required for to running this uh, complete project okay so it's uh, already there okay it's requirement.txt simply you have to do uh, create a new conda environment okay and inside that pip install hyphen r requirement.txt okay then you will install all the packages which is requ required for this project so coming to the code okay uh, so this is the like a um, code okay so i am importing here flask flask request json and render template os also requ we are requiring uh, requiring okay and also you are we are using some utils package there uh, some de decoding of image like base 64 encoder we are going to use here and from predict we are importing traffic so in this uh, predict dot py we are going to import traffic traffic is a class okay so that is the thing so that's fine so come to the code here the class we have created that is of client tab so inside that i am creating uh, like a, it's a variable uh, called file name and inside that file name i am giving a, a file name that is input image dot jpeg and also the classifier i am initializing here so for that so traffic pick this one uh, this class i am calling here and inside that i am passing this uh, file name okay and after that i have mentioned here the root route app route uh, this is for the uh, default one like uh, index page okay so simply it will uh, open our index.html page so here i have used a sim basic html here okay uh, not uh, not that much uh, what you can say that not that much heavy uh, HTML coding I have used. I've just uh, taken it from the Bootstrap site. You can also check there. And this is the another route that is for the predict. Okay. So here the method is post, and we are getting um, image in the form of JSON here. And the, now, then we are going to uh, decode it. So how we are going to decode? Uh, that is present in our utils folder let me open it and i'll show you how we are going to decode it so this is the decode decode code okay we are getting a image okay image string and the file name will just uh, uh, encode it uh, decode it into the base 64 format okay that's fine and this is the encoder okay we are just encoding in that image that that we are getting into the base 64 format so nothing much is there fine after that this decoded images Im decoded image will pass through our uh, classifier that is fine and it will return a result a json result okay json file json file result there so you can see in our predict.py uh, we are loading here a model path that is traffic.h5 this is the keras model so I'm loading my model here by using tf.keras model dot load model and also like uh, taking a image name and also by and reading this uh, image name by using cb2 then I'm just converting into a array image that image we are getting we are converting into array and in RGB format and resizing it into 30 cross 30 30 height and 30 width okay and also we are expanding its dimension resize this uh, resize image is going to ex we are going to expand the dimension of that and taking again we are taking the uh, array like uh, creating an array from that okay 
then after that we are dividing it by 2 table 5 that simply means we are scaling our if, uh, array okay scaling down now this uh, input data will pass to our loaded model okay so that loaded model will predict okay so that predict it will give us a prediction in the form of probability so whatever uh, whichever having a max probability that will be stored in this result so that's why i'm using here argmax here and that will be stored in the result okay so in result it will store like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so till 42 okay because we have a uh, like a 43 classes here so for each class uh, what it represents i have mentioned here like zero class represent speed limit 20 kilometers so this is the thing and so on i'm just mentioning it. it's just a kind of a, a like a mapping kind of thing i have done there okay nothing else so let's run our uh, code let's see how it is running okay so let me run it so if you can see here uh, it gives us a url let me just uh, copy it and put it into this uh, part then you can see here uh, this is this very simple ui okay uh, it's a very simple basic html i have used here okay and upload image we'll go to the upload images and predict so you it will take okay so so I got the prediction that is a dangerous curve right I'll just check with another one that is this one we all know about that 30 km per hour let's see our model is predicting or not yeah speed limit 30 km per hour so that is fine thus we are getting the prediction and here I have mentioned about the github okay so just click on the right click on that and open in new tab you, if you, you can see here all the codes are already present in my github directory okay and uh, what all things i have used here like a kaggle data set i have performed uh, some demo here also you can check it out so fine guys uh, this is in for this video uh, let so bye bye guys fine